Hi folks, a couple of days ago I did a poll on the YouTube community tab asking you guys what would you like most to see next and the winner is Kudos running on Amiga. So let's see what I was able to prepare today. So I pulled my Amiga 1000 from storage, I was seeking for all the bits and pieces cables, mouse, everything and my stack of uh, Amiga floppy disks. Then I uh, booted the Amiga with uh, Kickstart 1.2 followed by Workbench 1.2 and then inserted the floppy disk with QDOS for the Amiga and uh, on the Amiga desktop I double clicked uh, the icon QL512K memory and after a couple of minutes uh, QDOS uh, booted uh, completely and uh, presented its super basic command line interpreter and uh, I did just some basic tests like uh, printing the version number of uh, the specific QDOS distribution or printing the amount of free memory in bytes and did some basic uh, directory directory listing of a floppy disk called uh, Qtop version 1.23 which is a desktop type application suite for QDOS. Uh, time has running out today so I need to leave the lab in a couple of minutes and uh, during March uh, 20 21, I hopefully find some more time to explore QDOS on the Amiga and uh, present it uh, to you in a video or two. Well, speaking of uh, March uh, 2021, there are some more plans. So the, the other topic, uh, QVME video card in the Atari TT or Mega ST running SMS QE is also something I want to spend uh, one or the other hour and uh, I definitely plan to do a contribution to the so-called Marchintosh uh, initiative which started uh, yesterday on uh, March 1st 2021. So well uh, let's see what I already prepared for, uh, for March I uh, went to my storage and uh, took out some stuff. So uh, had a nice find this uh, 1979 um, Apple publication, uh, and I also found uh, my folder of uh, original Sinclair papers, including many Sinclair exclusive about the Sinclair ZX81. Speaking of uh, the Sinclair ZX81, on March 5th, that's in a couple of days, the so-called uh, SETI, ZX81, uh, will have its uh, 40th launch anniversary on Friday, March 5th. So, I may be, do a video about that uh, later on this week and uh, give you some more details, uh, story, background information about this very innovative at that time and uh, very cost uh, sensitive machine which was launched for less than £70 in uh, the UK and uh, less than $100 US dollar in the United States of America. So some of you might uh, remember the presentation I did for Planet uh, M68K uh, back in January and uh, you might know that I'm really a 68K addict, mainly uh, Sinclair QL but also the other machines up to uh, the Atari Jaguar which had a 68k uh, processor as a um, part of the architecture. So um, 
68K machines. Here is my Atari TT030. Uh, here are my other Ataris like uh, the C Lab Falcon uh, MK2 and original early Atari 520ST with a floppy disk. The SMS2 operating system which makes uh, the STQL compatible. Then here my 1040 STF and um, I showed you that I also have a next station or two and um, quite a few QLs and um, as we have March and the uh, Marching Tosh initiative I may uh, do a video about uh, my Apple Macintosh 68K systems the nicest one I own is uh, the Macintosh Plus in very nice condition and um, I maybe take it off the shelf and give it a go the other day in March and uh, tell you a story on on video. Okay, here is the ICL one per desk uh, based on QL hardware architecture and on the top shelf there's the Atari Jaguar which has a 68K processor on the main board. Here's another next and the story goes like that in my lab. I don't want uh, to waste too much time so March will definitely be uh, marching Tosh. Here are some German brochures from 1984. Uh, first one on the left is a Macintosh from Apple and the one on the right is in Swiss German um, and it uh, states out of six and a half million people in Switzerland only very few uh, can operate a computer and the story here is that Switzerland nowadays has more than eight and a half million people living in the country so those almost 40 years uh, had uh, some 2 million plus of uh, humans in the country. Here is my image writer uh, Apple and uh, I still have the manual shrink wrapped original never opened that one because uh, I had a German manual as well and uh, was using that one. Good, so we come towards an end for today uh, and I want to leave you with uh, this X-Files poster and uh, just tell you that uh, the truth is out there. You just gonna have to find it. Okay, take care. Have a good time, stay healthy and uh, see you soon. Bye.